Well, it's science all year round at the North Museum, but today some special campers got a taste of chemistry thanks to a grant from a national pharmaceutical company. News 11's Erica Such stopped by the museum and has a story. Summer can be a break for students, but a look inside the summer camp at the North Museum and there's a lot of learning going on. I was an educator in formal education for 20 years and kids lose a lot over the summer, so it's really important for them to keep on learning. Thanks to a $14,000 grant from GlaxoSmithKline, the North Museum was able to invite 240 campers to experience the basics of chemistry, from acids and bases to density to matter and molecules. Every uh, module has about five or six activities that each child is doing. Um, there's a demonstration and there's about five or six things that each child can do and there's things they can take with them. Ask the campers what they learned and they'll give you some interesting answers. There's more colors in ink than I thought. I thought it was just black ink. I learned if one thing can flow and if you put all the them together like Legos, they all flow. I like them all. Me too. I like yeah, it. I them. They all seem um, very kid friendly. Yeah, it's been fun to let them all. But it's more than just a chemistry lesson. Students are also getting the chance to explore the brand new renovated museum as well. They got a side dome show this morning. They got to see Space Mission, the Magic Tree House side dome show that we have. And we also got to do a museum explore, which they're doing right now. And they're getting to see the live animals and they're getting to see the collections that we have and the um, new exhibit that we have, Gerberich's, Gerberich's Gadgetry. And for animal lovers like the Vogley sisters, the museum's collection was the perfect exhibit. My thing is probably all the animal stuff here because I'm an animal kind of person. I'm, I, yeah, I want to do, I like owls and there's so many owls. In Lancaster, Erica Such, News 11.